Good morning, my Flat Earth family. I am coming out here to the mailbox to see what's in it. I'm going to let these cars go by. And then we're going to check the mailbox. So, what do we have in here? Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! I can't wait to open this. And look! Flat Earth, research Flat Earth. Look at how many people have seen this sticker. Can you imagine? It's gone all through the federal mail system. So let me shut the mailbox here. There we go. And let's turn over here. And I'm going to take this out of its package. And I'm going to show you what is in this package. So let me put this in the holder. Wonderful! Woohoo! Look what we have here. We have some activism tools, don't we? Look, we have stickers. And I love these because the children can color this in. Hey, you can color it in any color you want. So there's that. And then we have these $100 bills. And look, what you do is you fold them in half. You fold them like that and you drop it down. Or you can drop it that way. And look, somebody will come and they'll see that it's open and then you open it up. And look what you have in there. The globe is a lie. Love it. Then I've got some more stickers here. Aren't they beautiful? And then I've got these little ones that you can stick anywhere. And, um, you know, anywhere you go on your coffee cup, put it, um, I don't know, I hate to deface anything like a gas pump, but we can put cards at gas pumps because uh, they're easily taken off and thrown away. But something that's a sticker, I don't like to deface property. So here's these too. Look, these are magnetic. And they are there's three of them I got. flatearth101.com. And now look at this. This you are look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And these are magnetic and I have three of these. And look, here's the uh, the big sticker that he put on the package. When you order something from flatearth101.com, you'll get a package just like this. And this will go all through the mail service. So you're doing activism just by ordering something. And I'm not saying, you know, spend money, but you know, these are tools that you can get and they're easily gotten and you can do a lot of stuff with them. So don't fret and think that you don't have any resources. Oh, you don't have to cut these out. Look at this. These are stickers too. You peel them off. See that? And look at that. Anywhere I could put these. You can put them on your car. Um, you know, that's an interesting idea to put them on the inside of the window. I have done that. But um, I use the clear packaging tape for boxes. You know, you get clear tape and you can put them on the inside of your car windows. That way the weather won't get to them and ruin them. I had put them on the outside of my car windows and used the uh, packaging tape to cover over uh, like a quasi laminate. But um, uh, it, you have to replace them. But you know, the cards are inexpensive and you they're, you know, readily available. So you can redo it. You can put them on there till that looks crappy and then redo it. 
So, um, there's no excuse. There's no excuse for not doing activism of some sort. Now, you know, why do you have to do activism? Well, I think there's really, you have to show that this is what is true to you. And when you are, um, when you have something that you own, you can't help but let it out. The Bible says, faith without works is dead. So are you a bunch of dead flat earthers? Are you the walking dead? Or are you alive? Hasn't flat earth rejuvenated you? Haven't you gotten a whole new lease on life? by coming to accept the flat earth. Yeah. I mean, how can you not look up and say, God is standing up there on the dome. That's his footstool, it says. You know, more and more, scripture looks like it's true, true, true. So, uh, it's not metaphor. It's actual truth. Uh, realistic, reality, truth. So, um, here's your challenge. This is my challenge to you. My, I dropped some. My challenge to you is to come up with an excuse that would be acceptable. Okay? What, what excuse could you come up with that would be acceptable? Uh, unless you're still a globalist uh, that has not researched Flat Earth. Now, I call them globalist because... Uh, someone told me, oh, that's just financial. Well, isn't that what this is all about? Control is financial. For us, I mean, money rules everything, doesn't it? We go to work, it rules our day, it rules our life, money. And I'm not saying that everybody loves money, but we need that to survive because that's how we buy food, buy property, pay taxes. You know, if you don't, if you don't pay your property taxes, they can come and take your property away. And so we are really not free, are we? If you can't own property, you are not free. So um, you have to be able to have property to grow food, uh, right? So if you don't have property, you're not free. And taxes, prevents us from owning property because our really we're just renting it from the government they really own it because if you don't pay it they take it away so globalist agenda yeah look up agenda 21 agenda 2030 uh, all those agenda items you have to expand your horizon you cannot just stay on flat earth and nothing else you have to keep researching if you're not researching you're Allowing your mind to just um, stagnate. You don't want to do that. So there's my challenge to you. Come up with a good excuse and uh, tell me about it. But don't be surprised if you get a straight answer back. I love you, family, my Flat Earth family. Um, have a great day. Just wanted to share this with you. Thanks. Bye.